Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new mini album to share with you. But uh, first I want to thank you all for your lovely comments and uh, all the new subscribers. I uh, really uh, appreciate it. So um, thank you, all of you. And um, here is a mini album and I have called it uh, the Grandma's Clock and uh, it's a custom made album with a AccuCat and I used uh, Pion design papers in this album so I will start uh, with the front, it's uh, a lot going on here um, I've used um, a lot of uh, I Am Roses flowers here I hope it shows up, it's uh, cherry blossom and small roses And I used um, Lindy's Red Hot Poker Orange to color them in. And uh, after I did that I used um, weight, uh, white <laughs> paint and went over. I um, took some water and uh, mixed it with uh, paint and uh, went over the flowers. So to create a bit shabby chic look. And. Um, in the middle here it's a clock and it's an actual working clock and um, here I made a clay from um, I had this little angel so I made a clay out of that and that uh, you can do with the many things you have in your house and uh, make your own and um, if you see here it's a leaf and uh, this is from Lindy's and uh, they are in gold and I went over with uh, some white paint here and in the middle here you see a little pearl and it's a little, little bead cap I put in the middle here so here are some more of these leaves behind here and um, I have crocheted a butterfly down here and here is a big uh, gardenia flower from I Am Roses and some leaves. I also painted them with some white and mixed a bit um, Ponderosa Pine Olive uh, spray from Lindy's and in the middle here is a clear crystal flower from Kalas and here are some uh, Juliana um, uh, what are porcelain flowers and I have some uh, punched butterflies here and here from Martha Stewart Punch and um, I think that's it. I had some pearls sticked in around here also and some crystals and um, for the background here I also used the Starburst color shot and painted the paper and uh, went over with a white paint and uh, I bound it with a seam binding and uh, made a charm here so this is just a long charm so I think I will zoom out a bit wrong way <laughs> It won't work. Okay. <laughs> so it opens here, and uh, here is a 
seam binding and uh, a rose I got from Marlene. Thank you so much Marlene. I used a lot of these through the album and it opens with a velcro. And I use the same closure here as in uh, the Travelogue mini album. So here is the first page and I created a frame here to cover up the clock. And uh, this you can snip off like so. And here is the clock and I haven't managed to get the battery because it's a very special battery. So when I get that it will work. And here are oh, a bit. These flowers I also got from Mali. These are super cute. And this spray I got from Linda. Thank you Linda. And another crocheted butterfly here. And here's a banner from the paper. And I also painted a bit white on that. And for the next page, this is a Mariana design die. So some place for some photos or journaling. And I created a pocket with the lace here. So it snips back, back like this. And here in the top there is a pocket. And it slides out like this. And I have some I am roses leaves and a colorless porcelain flower. And uh, some seam binding I dyed and it opens like this with a couple of tags inside from the paper. I fussy cut this little bird and I created a pocket here with uh, this is I think it's uh, Mariana design dye and uh, this bird and leaf is uh, Mariana design. She has some super cute ties. And um, on the top here I have uh, uh, some um, flower trim from Carlos. She was so sweet and sent some to me for free and I have used them a lot. I really love them and some seam binding and uh, lace here. I also forgot to show its um, flat back pearls here from Carlos around all the page on the first page here. So here is the next page. And, um, it's an I am Rose's flower here. And I also painted that with the same red hold poker. It's uh, all through the album I have used that color. And uh, some white paint and some stickles. And I have a crocheted flower under here. And some feathers. This brace from Linda. And the stick pin I made. And, uh, there is also a pocket on the top and it slides out like so and here is again the flower trim and I popped this up it says from my heart and another flower from Marlene and a crocheted flower on the back here it's a place for photo here and uh, here is a little tag with a heart tag inside. I can journal or put a picture on. Another plain tag. <coughs> and uh, here is a little tag that 
that I glued together. It's from the paper. And the heart. Pune design also has a lot of gorgeous images. And here is one of them. So I can place a photo on the back. And another little tag. And on the page here it's lines. So uh, you can journal on here. And for uh, the next page here, I, um, it's a table and some chairs. I think it's uh, from Casey Craft, but I'm I'm not sure. And um, I create a, a vase here and uh, some flowers in here and another image. Hope it shows up. So. Romantic. And a little tag here from a Mariana design. And here are just some postcards to put pictures on or, or journaling and plain on the back. And uh, again, I made a cameo from Calais here with some feathers behind. I put some laces on the chair and some paper and and uh, it's also a butterfly here in the corner and I crochet the trim here and uh, have a lace under and some pe pearls here on the top and uh, this image this little boy here's a little um, tag on journal I put a picture on and this is, uh, I think it's from uh, Magnolia, this die. And also this one. And this slides. Another plain tag. And this little girl. And I used the uh, Prima pearls here. And again, uh, Carla's flower trim here. And the uh, Carla's uh, pleated trim here. And I uh, created a pocket from acetate under here and some lace. And the uh, next page here. of these images and here is a crocheted flower and uh, I'm roses flowers petals and uh, I'm not sure what this is called and here is another tag and I also forgot uh, I think it's Marianne design, but I'm not sure. But if you're interested, just ask. And the same for this one. It's, like it's, uh, it's a hanging sign, like so. And here is a little postcard. And another little booklet.
And I also popped this up here to create some dimensional for this page with some seam binding and a Gala's flower pearl in the middle here. And this is the EKK Success butterfly punch that I really love. I've used it a lot. And um, here I made some pleated trim from um, the paper. And uh, I got this idea watching um, uh, Le Leonia from my Passion for Paper and uh, she has a great tutorial where she used trim to make uh, her own pleated trim. So I thought it was um, fun to make it out of paper. So I will put the link to her video below. So please check it out, it's a really great video. And inside here it's uh, yeah, I forgot to show here, this is also pearl trim from Colas and some seam binding behind that I colored with uh, Lindy's. And here uh, is another little tag. A postcard inside. This opens like so. Use some lace here. And here is uh, this is also from uh, Mariana Design. This butterfly. I think <laughs> it's hard to remember all the dice. And for the next page. Made a little mini in a mini, and um, it opens like this, and like this. And these are uh, spellbinder dice. And I put a little bird behind here. And close like this. Open like so. And a place for photos or journaling. Like so. So in the end of the video I will show you how you can make this one. And um, in the top here, it's uh, I think it's a raisin from uh, Prima. Again, uh, colors play the trim and some pearls and uh, some lace here. And this is a little tag inside here. And a postcard. So fun to work with these uh, papers, they are so romantic and uh, uh, fun to do a lot of fussy cut on the flowers and uh, birds and yeah. And here is another Marianne design tie. And it opens for a photo behind here. And uh, I made this uh, pocket from acetate and glue down the image. And uh, behind here it's a hidden postcard. And plain in the back. Here is some porcelain flower with a... Um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, ribbon inside. It's also from Kalas. And here I uh, created a clock 
and um, I've used tags around here and I got this ID from Annie from uh, Miss Garden Grow. She um, has made a um, mini album where she put something in the middle and uh, created tags around and I thought that was a so great ID. So I have copied it. So it's a lot of tags behind here. So it goes like this for small pictures. So journaling. These are the same. And uh, there are two layers here. So some small tags in the second layer. Like so. And this is um, a doily from uh, my favorite things. And uh, also some other clays here with some seam binding. On the back page, <coughs> I also got the ID from Annie. She used a lot of lace in her albums. So I took an old curtain and cut it out and uh, it's an uh, angel here. And on the top here it's a uh, clear crystal butterfly from Carlas. So this is my album and I hope you like it and uh, when I get the battery it will actually work. So now I will show you how you made that little book inside. I just have to get things out of the way here. I will show you on uh, this paper the measurements. <coughs> I've cut it uh, 12 this way and uh, four, no, five and a half this way. This one I cut that uh, five in the height. So you can uh, um, yeah, make it <laughs> how you want it. But uh, the next one I, I'm going to make it, I needed five and a half. And then you score it at um, three and a half, and uh, three and five eight, seven and one eight, and ten and a half. So I give you a close up here, so you can hopefully see the measurement here. So now I'm going to take the papers. Uh, one more thing I will show you. This is going to be the front, so when you turn it, you have to be sure you have it upside down, like this. Because when you turn it, this will be the front. So I have already cut out two of these. So and score them, and I fold. This is uh, the front break page, and you fold it like so, and so, and so. And this is going inside. And that we fold like so, and so, and so. And here you see I did a mess, scored wrong, but it doesn't matter. You can cover it up with some lace or something. Now we are going to glue this two together. <clears throat> now my glue is stuck. It was working a moment ago. <coughs> I have to find the needle. So, 
hopefully it will work now. And also in the score line, 180 inch here, you have to put glue inside there. together. use uh, the lace. I've uh, done some punching here. This I cut at uh, two and one eighth of an inch and then uh, punched it and uh, score one quarter in the middle. So you score at one and one and a quarter. And we're going to glue this on. So. Form it so it creates this spine or one eighth of an inch like so. And I see I didn't glue it right here, so I just snip off some of it. So if you want you can skip this part now because now I'm just going to decorate it a bit just to show. And we're going to glue it on the back as well here. This paper is from uh, Graphic 45 once upon the springtime. seems to get some glue on the outside like so and, uh, if I can find all the things I want to use and I also had a flower 
over here, but seems to have gone. But we're gonna glue this on. Here I take just my glue gun. Put it on the top here. So. so maybe I can find that flower. It uh, was a flower um, from Carla's. I was going to put in uh, sand here flat back uh, flower. And then for the inside we can uh, take this little bird. And I just glued it on the bottom here. So it creates a pocket. Like so. And then you can make some tags and put inside here and make uh, photo mats here if you want to. And I also did some <coughs> punching for these uh, pockets. So uh, I started with the blue and I didn't like it, so we're going to put. We're going to use it anyway, but we're going to put it like this. So it won't waste. This one. This is a AK success, AK success punch. Like so. And we do the same for the other side here. that it's about the same width here. So. So, so now this creates some pockets. Now we'll see if we are going to take some seam binding on here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> and then we are just gluing it together. No, it's the other side. So. 
so you see it's not accurate so we just snip off a bit so now it's uh, created two pockets here you can put in tags or whatever you want like so and places for photos here and you can decorate it much more if you want to so I hope this helps and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye bye!